where are you? <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and get it going. All right, guys, thanks again for joining us for another Last Call podcast. My name is Mikey T. I'm joined by our usual ragtag group of misfits. Guys, go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm Tristan. What up? I'm Jay, a.k.a. Asian Invasion. Welcome to the Get Right podcast featuring Raekwon and Jaquan. <laughs> Out here thugging. Can't get right. <laughs> It's just like the last call podcast, except we get to smoke weed in our studio and drop end bombs. <laughs> That's pretty much the, the, the baseline effect of what they're going for. I, uh, I started listening to that, and like the first thing they did is like somebody's like, "Yo, can I smoke weed down here?" And they're like, "Nah, uh, yeah, okay, go ahead." I'm like, "We can smoke <laughs> weed in Mike's basement, like, yeah. man. Like, we're, in the, we're in the wrong place." Their podcast is so much cooler. Do you think we can like rent out studio space? Do you think like they'll let us go over there and record? It's yeah, like a, you can't call it cooler either, though. It's lit. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. We're not hit to the jive. It's on <laughs> fleek over there. All right, so you're you're in charge of translating to uh, what what are their names again? Raekwon and Jaquan. Raekwon and Jaquan over it. Not right podcast or whatever and you know i don't know what the hell they're saying <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like a rush hour too thing it's, ain't nobody no words coming out of your mouth man i just i just yell sue young and they yell it back and it works that's all that's how i communicate man uh, uh, by the way jay you were great in rush hour i i, I tried i tried oh, shit i thought i recognized them I, without the bleach blonde hair it's a little bit different look yeah. <laughs> you know i mean the whole the whole gentile thing kind of faded out a while man back. i it's looked right. i was like he looks just like chris tucker that's exactly uh, that's exactly it I, yep. I missed it that's, the the likeness is uncanny when was the last time chris tucker was in anything he put out a shitty stand-up oh, well, i mean like, it could have like, movie wise did he just like disappear know. off the map hopefully Aren't they trying to do like another rush hour again? Because both mm-hmm. of them haven't done anything in about mm-hmm. a decade. Oh, You're that's, right. That's going to be awful. And it's great. It's, like it's going to be like Jackie Chan. Yeah, they need to get like uh, Eddie Murphy in there too, and like Mel Gibson and Donnie Glover. They'll just, so you it'll just an, be you want an Expendables for like a, exactly <laughs> Expendables for buddy cop movies. <laughs> that's exactly what Danny I'm looking Glover. for. Danny Glover. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce Willis can be thrown in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Die the Lethal Hour featuring Eddie Murphy, Bruce Willis. Seriously, it would just have all their names across the top, just like Expendables. That would be. I'd watch that. Uh, depends on who wrote it. If you could write. If you could write it, uh, they'd probably let Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith write it or something. God, they let it. That's would one you of those have Turner and Hooch in that though too. A little Tom blue Hanks. Shampoo. Yeah. Or was that? Yeah, it was Hanks, not. Tom's not, not going anywhere near a project no, like that. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, he's still making real movies. He's, he he got through that addition. phase of his life. He's too. He's too busy. Uh, what is it? What? Is Tom Hanks the one where they're like, "I'm never going to let him drive anything anymore"? Because now he's been in a movie where like the boat gets hijacked, the, the a, spaceship doesn't work. They the, say the, that. Uh, one thing I've learned from watching Tom Hanks movies: never travel with Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was going to say Jackie Chan, he tells a great story about how when he was young, he was first getting into movies. Well, just, just let him tell it. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us about the time you worked with Bruce Lee? Is that... <laughs> oh, oh, I work with Bruce Lee? <laughs> oh, Bruce don't make, don't nice. do the accent. That makes me uncomfortable. It's oh, too far. Dude, for, <laughs> for, it's fantastic. <laughs> it, it is really good. That's why For audio listeners, <laughs> Jay is Asian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I am so, of Korean descent. It's okay. So he, he gives us the go-ahead to just say a whole bunch of horrible shit. Not that we wouldn't anyway i'm not I doing mean, that dude, my I'm nickname not... is chang bang i mean <laughs> no, i'm not doing that accent it's hashtag not, asian invasion ha- hashtag asian invasion everywhere do you know how awkward it was being at saturday in the country and looking around and it was me and my man evan who's also hashtag asian invasion and no other asians just yeah. a sea of white people and peppy <laughs> and peppy <Yeah. laughs> the sea of white people and peppy and and the most white like you know, usually when somebody says to a black guy, you're really white, they mean like, like cheesy, like loser white guy. <laughs> like like he's, yeah. Pepe is, he's like white in the, we're going to build a wall sort of white. <laughs> there is. Trump and supporter. 
he he has a uh, rebel flag on his truck. It's awesome. Do you know how great it was riding down twenty nine in that caravan? It was fantastic. Uh, something <laughs> like that. That'd be that's actually a really funny image of uh, of a truck driving down the highway with the stars and bars flying, and Jay leaned out the window. <laughs> white power, white power, dude. A truck. It was like fifteen trucks, and then and then Evan in, in the little Honda in the back. So the other Asian is is driving a Honda behind the rest of the caravan. Mm, okay, all right. Well, <laughs> I hope he at least drove it underneath one of the trucks, like in Fast and the Furious. <laughs> that would have been excellent to see. And, you know, some of those trucks are jacked up high enough that that wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah, Could I believe parked it. Parked them right under there. I want, I want to do that one day. I want to drive. I want to drive a lowered Civic under a truck because I'm still <sighs> 17 years old. I know. There's I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Oh. I know, know I'm not, not the only one that after that movie went and looked to see how possible oh, that would be. Everyone. Oh. You start, you walk up out. next to it and you like see where it lands on your body and then you go stand next to your car and you're like no that's not that's like three feet too <laughs> yeah there's would have no to be way slammed. it would work. the truck has to be jacked up a solid two feet yeah you'd need you'd need like a truck that's specially designed to have like a high load like the ones that carry like the big like the huge i beams that like sit way up high mm. and then maybe like shit maybe like a uh, yes yeah, something really little. My uncle's got a car um, from Japan. It's right-hand drive, and he had it imported to Canada. It's called a Beat. You know how big my CRX was? Yeah. I think like two-thirds that size. It's the tiniest car I've ever... I think it's... Is uh, it a smart car? Uh, it is. It's like it's like the... Yeah, it is. It's But it's lowered. It's a convertible, so it's just got like the windshield. It's super tiny. That I'm, might make it under a truck. I'm pretty sure he got scammed, and he bought a Power Wheels. Yeah. <laughs> It is not that much bigger than a Power Wheels. It's not. <laughs> it's like you and your passenger, and like you could fit maybe I don't know, like one of those little Coleman coolers in the back. <laughs> it was, but it was rad. It was fun to drive. Oh, I don't. I, I think I, it made like forty horsepower. Probably got like nine thousand miles to the gallon. That's too. what I was yeah. about to say. Yeah, yeah, got like nine thousand miles to get, but it was a manual. Like it was fun to drive. I'm I'm a firm believer that if if you have a manual transition transmission. Just about any car is is fun to drive. At That's least, true. at least to like dick around town or whatever. I mean, you're not taking trucks to the track or anything like that. But I mean, it's it's just fun to drive a manual. I would I would I'm, rock the shit out of like a raised manual pickup truck. That'd be fucking funny shit. <laughs> if I get like a manual like Tacoma or something like that, just raise that shit to pull the bumpers off it. Just put the big like. Uh, like brush guards and stuff like that on it. Yeah, I'd, I'd I was I was looking into that when I when I bought the Forerunner. I was thinking about getting a Tacoma, but then I was like, it's just it's too small of a truck. Like it's it's a great truck, but it's just small. Like if you're gonna get a truck and and have like shit gas mileage and nowhere to put anything, as far as people, then and you need room you for get, like the Raptor or something like big <sighs> massive truck. I looked at Raptors. Those I, are I'm instantly sold on it. You know what sold me on the Raptor? It was seeing Shug Knight run that dude over and not see the suspension <laughs> move at all. <laughs> Did you see the video of that? Yeah, I was sold that on is, that truck instantly. They should just like dub that That's over. Fun. That's a marketing campaign right there. They're like, look, you can look at all those other big trucks. That Raptor will run over a person. No problem. <laughs> and you won't you even feel it. Won't even put a bump in your ride. You think you're going to feel snow? This thing runs over people. Drink no too problem. much? Don't want to feel guilty in the morning? This is what you need. <laughs> Ford. <laughs> Built Ford tough. You could put, you could put like one of those crash test dummies in the parking lot. And it's like, here, here. Put, put this blindfold on and just accelerate. I, you, you're not going to feel a thing. Give it a go. It'll it's like, fantastic. what is it? I think it's uh, I think it's Ram that's been doing all the the versus comparisons with like Fords and everything. Yeah, and they're showing it's you know like sort of sci scientific comparisons between them. I, I imagine that, but with like bodies laid out, and <laughs> and it's just them like. <laughs> See, we can run over them and not even bend the frame. You've got like, eight bodies in a row, but staggered, just so you see, like the chassis like, doesn't <laughs> flex <laughs> that <laughs> much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gee, where are they at with the Walking Dead on this marketing campaign for this? This is perfect. Just throw them together. Yeah, it makes you wonder why they have the uh, what the, they had like a, a Hyundai crossover for yeah. that for like first two seasons. Where's <laughs> Ford? They need to jump in. Like, yeah, use the Raptor. Look, just throw it. Throw it in the show. Somehow they magically find one in perfect condition. Just maul some zombies out and then run ads down her throat like they do with everything else yeah seriously it's effective marketing 
there was a uh, there was a show I used to watch. I watch shitty television. Okay, oh, like big I have fan of shitty I have television. I have bad taste in television and movies, media in general. So I watched for a long time a show called Burn Notice on USA. It's about a spy and his spy friends. Okay, I watched some of that. Bruce Campbell's in it. Yeah, Bruce Campbell. Yeah, yeah it's kind of shitty. Yeah, he was. In uh, he was ama- he was like the third guy in it, which is part of what sold me on the whole thing. But um, in the later seasons, I think maybe some of the ad revenue started to dry up, so they tried to get kind of creative about it. And all of a sudden, one of the characters got a brand new Hyundai Genesis. <laughs> and one of the things that would happen in the show was the lead guy would come over and he would voice over stuff when they were trying to do like neat spy stuff. He'd be like. Well, sometimes when you need to bulletproof a car and you don't have the materials, a simple phone book would do. And it'd show them like MacGyvering together a bulletproof car with phone books and he'd voice over the whole thing. So in the later seasons, finally, this character gets this new car. And every other episode, he'd be like, when you're trying to outrun the competition, a six cylinder motor making 320 horsepower is the <laughs> only way to do it. It Man. was like the most blatant. And there's all these glamour shots of this Hyundai accelerating away from BMW. Zero fucks given. So awkward. I wanted to run away from the television. It was so bad. But I think that's where we're going with like all the all the DVR shit and stuff now. Nobody's watching commercials, right? Everybody's just recording everything, skipping commercials. I guarantee you, we're not far from that in The Walking Dead. Well, I mean, hell, look at it already. Hulu already has commercial. I I pay four extra dollars a month to not watch commercials on Hulu. Same here. And, and it's 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 all a trick because they know they can shove the commercials in our face, and then they'll be like, "Look, man, five bucks more." YouTube is trying to make me pay for a subscription. I'm I'm seriously considering it. I, I, I have considered. <laughs> I, oh, I, the YouTube Red. Yeah. Oh, dude, I, nice. I watch I watch a lot of YouTube. That's probably where I get most of my information on anything. Getting more mileage out of YouTube these days than I am on a television, which yeah. surprises the shit out of me. YouTube is fantastic, but I'll tell you what: you get happy for a video and you see that thirty second wait, and oh. there's no skip ad intense. Oh. oh. It is the most dreadful 30 oh, seconds of your day. But it, but it is great when you have that five-second wait for the skip, and you're just like, it's like, click, and you're, and you're gone, and it's beautiful. <laughs> That's all you've waited for. It's a sigh of relief. I'm never more close to destroying a piece of equipment that, that I own than when I accidentally click on an ad. Like a video is oh, playing and, and you click on it, and it's jumps. like, oh, you want to learn more? You want to learn more about this shit that you were waiting to skip? Here. Right. And it like it switches apps, and like you're not even on the video anymore. Oh, it's it, it's a worse if Fuck you're on it, your I didn't phone. Fuck, I need an iPad oh, anyway. Yeah, if it throws you to the app store. That, yeah. that kick to the app store, you're just, you just want to spike your phone every single time. Yeah, you're going for skip, and you, you just miss and hit the other thing. It's like, let's bring up all this other bullshit. Especially now on the internet these days, when like web pages are loaded, and like it starts... Stuff starts skipping around, and like you're like, oh, Article. I hit the little X. Oh, it moved, and now you've got to watch an ad. Uh, <laughs> gotcha, you, bitch. Now you've got to watch an ad for Combat Zone Strike Five. Oh, Jesus. Uh, at least, at least they're not as bad as the ads that you get on, the, like, like the Facebook ads, man, that you get where they rob your cookies from Amazon. They se- they show me nothing but ads for shit I have already bought. Yeah, yeah. Everything is shit I have already bought. You're totally right. I want I want an option on the internet in general to be like, you win. I researched Jeeps before I bought a Jeep. I saw Jeep ads for fucking six months. Who do I need to report to on the internet? Like, look, guys, you win. You got me. <laughs> you got me nice. already. Stop. <laughs> See, I could always tell when my wife would use my computer because then I'd start having ads for like handbags. <laughs> and now, now it's all babies are us <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> Susan's like, what, what, what motorcycle parts are you looking at online? I'm like, God damn it! I did it on Amazon. I should have like, I should have logged out for. It's like, fuck you, Google. God, God. God. clear your cookies and browser history. Oh my God, that's the new thing. It's not you're not clearing it for porn. You're clearing (laughs) it for your your Amazon history. I don't want to have to search Craigslist on the dark web to keep (laughs) shit from my wife. Like, just stop. It's too much. (laughs) Stop. <laughs> God, can you imagine if Craigslist was pumping ads onto your Facebook? Oh, Jesus. oh, that's only a matter of time. How is Craigslist still so shitty? It's been around Cause, for like Because nobody puts years. any money in it. They're, it's just it's just there. I guess, but it's like, it's still so simple. And like, nobody's, whoever made it is just like, nah, fuck it. It's fine. I don't I don't even look at Craigslist. I, I'll, I'll use, uh, for, you know, locally, I'll use Baltimore Barter on Facebook. Oh, is that like worth a shit? I know. Yeah, that. well, because it's it's just like Craigslist, but then it's like connected to Facebook, so there's some measure of believability to whatever's up there. Okay. 
So that's actually like all the video game stuff that I bought here. Like, I I bought almost all of that on Baltimore Barter. All right. I mean that is what is that like a thirty six, thirty two? I don't know. It's probably like, yeah, it's probably like a thirty two or thirty seven. Yeah, the uh, CRT television. I bought that a another N sixty four a dream or two Dreamcasts and a whole bunch of games for all of them for 200 bucks. Hmm. And then I turned around and sold the duplicate games that I got with it and the 64 for 175. <laughs> so basically, I got a a TV that's great for all the old school games plus two systems for $25. Oh, is that what you bought a CRTs because the do the modern TVs like not perform well with the old school uh, games yeah so it's so it's great for it, it just looks better yeah. which seem which seems counterintuitive because you think oh even if it's older if i have a higher definition television it's going to look better right but it just it doesn't upscale so it, it ends up looking shittier hmm. but if you use a crt it's like real crisp it just looks better it's kind of like how you like if you use standard if you get a standard definition feed onto your high def tv it looks like garbage yeah and then you put oh, that yeah. same feed into a standard def tv and it looks way better okay it's the, it's the same concept hmm. but the the Never other thing me. i wanted to i wanted to get one while they still made those because uh say say you want to break out the nes and use the light gun you can't do that with a modern tv really yeah that's not it's interesting a curve tube uh no, you can do it on a CRT, but okay. actually I, I gotta test it because I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> but the uh, with like LEDs or any of that stuff, it, it doesn't work. Like, that's you'll, so interesting. You'll just you'll fire and it just flashes on the screen, you know, that's and it, it just doesn't work. Blew my mind the first time somebody explained to me how the light gun on the Nintendo worked. Like, I never I looked I into it. it works. As like, far as I'm concerned, like, it's magic. The yeah. gun, the gun doesn't shoot anything. Yeah. When you pull the trigger, you see that little box that that the uh, that the ducks behind the ducks or whatever. Mm -hmm. The gun is just looking to see if it's pointed at one of those boxes. That's what it's sending back. Is you pull that, and the gun is looking for that flash. And if you're pointed at it, then it counts a hit. Um, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. That's pretty interesting. I remember that dumbass power glove too, though. You got one of those. I did. You need so to get that. I had one. So when I when I worked at GameStop, I had. I was telling you before we started, I had like three of every system and all this stuff. And then one day it was sitting in. Uh, it was just all sitting in my closet, and I was like, my friend that lived here at the time was like, "Oh, I'll I'll sell it for you," and he just threw it on eBay, and not a lot of people bid on it. Mm -hmm. I sold like everything for like. Two hundred fifty dollars. If I if I saved that and sold it now, I had like every RPG from like uh, Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, that's that's big money. I now. could have sold all that for easily fifteen hundred dollars. Just cleaned up. Yeah, but you know it's whatever. Now I'm slowly I'm I'm intelligently buying it back, and I've probably only spent like three hundred dollars on all the retro stuff I have. I mean, I got Atari over there in the corner. I got I got. Tons of shit. There's GameCube I just bought, PlayStation One. I'm, sl I'm slowly building it back up. Got to get the Coleco Vision in, the, in there too. Yeah, that was actually my first game system. Coleco, that was the first game system I ever had too. I just want to play some of those old school, like <clears throat> high end gaming systems that I never got to play. That like, like right around when like like the or 3DO and the Neo like Geo Jaguar. and the Jaguar. <laughs> like that was all shit that I Did only ever like heard about. Jaguar? Like I never actually played it. I never known anybody that owned one. Yeah, was, I'd love to play that it. stuff. Nobody owned that shit. There was probably some like really well like Donald Trump's kids owned all of it, and that's about oh, it. Every one of them. They they had multiples of each one of those, and then nobody else had it. And the uh, and they well, never played the games. They would just enter cheat codes or pay poor people to play for them. <laughs> <laughs> and the Virtual Boy, I want to play the Virtual Boy. I too. love the Virtual Boy. I'm they, sure it's awful, but oh, I want it, to play it anyway. It's terrible, and I only ever played Mario Tennis. But I every time I would walk into, uh, I can't think of the name of that store, and I went there all the time. But in Old Elgin City, there. There was a toy store that had some retro stuff, and then a game store opened up, and it had nothing but retro stuff. And they had a Virtual Boy there that I 
every time I thought about buying it, but it's like $175. And I was oh, like, Oh, no, you can't do that. There's like three games behind. for it, max, right? Yeah, but just at that point, it's like part of the collection. Yeah, I have I like to it. get one eventually. I just I need to find a better deal than that. I uh, <clears throat> I have a shirt that has um, the power glove on it, and it says from the wizard, it says, It's so bad. And it's one of my favorite shirts. I love it. And I wore it one night to game night at Diamondback. Yeah. And I went outside and there was this kid. I don't know. He's probably 25 or maybe younger. And he's like, and we're standing, standing outside talking. And he looks at my shirt and he's like, what's that? I was like, well, fuck me. I'll just go hang myself. <laughs> like, God damn it. <laughs> I remember when you wore what that. Is, what does it's so bad mean? I'm like, it's a reference to a movie that you never seen and will never see and even you what's, did see what's the, what's the name of that again the wizard. the wizard yeah, was, oh the wizard's the name of it the wizard's the, the name of it yeah where he's just stardom right yeah yeah yeah. Fred Fred Savage Savage was yeah. he's the older brother oh mm-hmm. and his younger brother is like the video game yeah, he's like a yeah. special yeah. kid that's like yeah a he's video like he's, game, like he's on <laughs> he's on the autism scale but we didn't call it that back then like he was just weird <laughs> is it, yeah he he's ra- the weird kid he was rain man oh jeez it's like an eight-year-old Ray man that just destroyed everybody in every video game ever. But I mean, I haven't seen that since I was, I don't know, ten years old. I'm sure it's I don't know dog I... shit. I'm sure it was dog shit back then, oh, but was, I loved I'm it. Sure I guarantee it you it's dog shit and I haven't seen it. Yeah, I mean, but You've never seen it? I've never seen it. Yeah, I mean I just thought about that. It's too late now. No, it's not. No, it's not. You need I to, need to uh, add that to the collection. You need to view that. Podcast. Oh yeah, you should shit. have like a VHS of the Wizard. That'd be that'd be. Pretty I need bad. to get a movie poster. You think they? Oh, that'd be good. Get the Super Mario Brothers Those, movie poster. They're probably expensive. Oh, you they probably get a replica though. You probably get a yeah, replica poster. Just, just go to, I don't know, what like Vista Print or some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or do they only do? Like, no, uh, I'm cards. sure like Spencer's will sell you a poster of the Wizard for seven ninety nine or something like that. I I love Spencer's and Hot Topic because. Anything that I'm interested in, the current generation isn't, so it, it will eventually end up on clearance, and I will stumble in there and see something that I'm like, holy shit, this is on clearance. <laughs> I learned the other day, you know all of the uh, the Halloween stores that open up for like a month yeah. around October? All owned by Spencer's. Really? Same That's company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of the like... The a lot of the people that work there are trying to get jobs at Spencer's. So like they're people who applied in like July and August and they come to them and they're like, We're not gonna let you work at Spencer's, but like we got this Halloween store that you can come work at for a month and if you do really well, maybe you can come work at the mall. Yeah. Nobody gets hired at Spencer's. Never give up on your dreams, kid. <laughs> Spencer's you too could shop. one time one day work at Spencer's. <laughs> Such a weird store. It's like such a strange turn in like the like late two thousands and like now it's like a dildo store. Like, yeah, it's it's some weird cross between Hot Topic and a sex shop. Yeah, it's really, super bizarre. bizarre. And like and and it's also like a nerd haven too, though, with like all the like excessive amounts of Pokemon stuff. Well, yeah. that's why I still go in those shops. Pick it, your it, goddamn market. Who's it gonna be? <laughs> it's a little bit of everything. We're all one big market. It's just like Best Buy. Like we'll we'll sell you whatever. Just come fucking buy something, please. <laughs> we don't give a goddamn you shit. You need a bed? We you got want a beds, Pokemon yeah. hat? Yeah, we got that. You want a dildo? We got that too. <laughs> you want novelty penis cups? All right. Well, what's it gonna take? I, I know Amazon's got them cheaper, but please buy it from us. My wife's gonna leave me. What do you want to buy? <laughs> we'll put it on the shelf. I don't give a shit. <laughs> we just oh, summarized Best Buy in a nutshell. <laughs> That's where Best Buy is going to be in another year and a half. <laughs> They're just going to be a big Spencer's with a couple of laptops. Uh, <laughs> that'd be awesome if it's rebranded. <laughs> it's just like a warehouse Spencer's. They convert just, the car stereo to a blacklight area. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it's nothing but glow in the dark shit. Like all the wa- it'll it'll still be a Best Buy, but everything is like glow in the dark or has a lava lamp attached to it. <laughs> Going to college? Get your MacBook and your Bob Marley poster. <laughs> Don't forget there got to be Christmas lights everywhere too. Some with penises, some with beers, some with frogs. Fake vaginas, I align. <laughs> Variety is the spice of life. Um, Jay, we have a price here that our guests, I like to make our guests pay, and I've forgotten to do that with our last two guests. Um, we're going to need a story about the thing you did when you were a kid that should have gotten you killed. What was it? Oh, the thing I did that should have gotten me killed. Yeah. And if there's a bunch, I mean, we can, you know, we can I hear do, more than one, but we're looking for number one with a bullet here. There's a large, a large selection of things I could probably go with. Um, 
Sounds a lot like my my explanation. Yeah, the, probably the least criminal of them, which is still probably a criminal act, is uh, uh, statute of limitations is passed. Yeah, I don't know unless if you guys it's are murder with, uh, with the place that used to be the crab shanty on Route Forty. Nope, um, I, I am. Yes, it, it, it is. It is now the Ellicott City Mission Barbecue. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I I grew up for for a lot of years on on Plum Tree, and uh, we used to go and um, sneak out at late at night and go to the Seven Eleven to this guy we knew, Fat Bill. Like 14 years old, Fat Bill was great. Start. Give him five I, bucks. I like Fat Bill already. <laughs> Fat Bill, you give him Unless five bucks, he lets you take <laughs> anything you want. We were taking like fucking packs of cigarettes, hot dogs, ch chips, like Doritos, and uh, the courtesy cups full of the nacho cheese. We're like 14 year old idiots, right? So we decide at like kind of redundant actually. At this ends in the morning, with Jay and four of his friends in the back of a box truck. Oh, dude, we, we, we decided for now. That's how we got climb here. Climb on the top. <laughs> that is actually how I got here. <laughs> So we climb on, on the top of the roof of the crab shanty and are like sitting there chilling, smoking cigarettes, thinking we're badass. It's like four o'clock in the morning. We go to climb down and I look at my homeboy, Joe, who's like climbing over this fence to get down off the roof. And this bright spotlight appears on him like it's like, like fucking Batman's light. Like he's the <laughs> shadow. So I see like the image shining and projecting behind him with his image like this, like cut out behind him. Like he's like a running man. <laughs> so I immediately realize it's like the cops. I turn, I run across the roof and, and next to it is a mixed a Mr. Tire. And there's literally like. 16 18 foot tall fence that's like five feet away from me four feet away from me and then a drop and a big ass pile of tires Holy and in my shit. head i'm like i'm going to jail or i'm jumping off this roof this way and then going to jail <laughs> oh, well i managed to jump from the roof to the fence and like kind of catch on my feet and then tumble off of it into the tires okay I tumble off it i fall like 10 feet in the tires I'm not like fucked up or anything. I get up and I start running. And this is before the checkers was there and the like Asian restaurant or whatever it is that's there now. I trip on the hill, fall, slide all the way across the gravel on the ground, cut myself all up. And I'm like running back through this back lot of the crab shanty after I get up and I see the cop car coming, dude. And I just ran and I slid on the ground again, cut myself up more and was under the car. Cop car drives around for like five minutes around the lot circling, <laughs> looking for me with my homeboy in the back of the car who they caught in the airman position standing up <laughs> on the fence. <laughs> they caught him on the fence. Dude, they caught him on the fence. <laughs> so, so they eventually like moved thinking I'm somewhere else. And then I eventually escaped through the woods of Plum Tree and back to my parents' house. Ninja, vanish. Dude, <laughs> I mean, it was real lucky for me that I was in Plum Tree because realistically, if you've ever been there, it is nothing but Koreans. Mm. So I went to that neighborhood. Is that, is that good for you or bad for oh, you? Oh, that's fantastic for me. Okay, all, all right. The cops are like looking around. They're like, they all look the same. Uh, yeah, except for what are you, you're it about. Is like you're about o'clock in the morning. But also, you're you're like my height, right? At the yeah, yeah. yeah I'm so pushing, you're like six three, six two, six three. Yeah, I'm pushing six two. And I mean, back then I was probably like. 5'11", six foot maybe. I was like, so you're a goddamn years. giant back there. I mean, I'm giant went that way. I mean, I'm I'm kind of a giant, but <laughs> for some reason, I feel like our generation. You said you weren't really, gonna do I it. Did, I know I tried. It wasn't oh. even a good one. I wasted it. Betty special accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah no. I, you want I beef and broccoli? I didn't commit. I, it's it's my fault. God, I, I would. I bet you would find great humor in seeing like an Orioles game with me when Hyunsoo Kim plays. Oh yeah, no, oh, that'd be, anytime be he fantastic. does anything, it's full fledged, just like hardcore <laughs> Asian accent. I want to go. I want to go with you, and you just walk around and pretend to be him. Uh, dude, I, dude, I fuck people with are people dumb all enough. Time. I fuck, dude, I fuck with people all the time. Like I'm like, dude, that's that's my uncle. It's Uncle Hyunsoo, and they'll believe it, and they're just like, oh, he's yellow, he's yellow. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Team Instinct. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. He Team Instinct, peace sign. <laughs> yeah, but you Very can't. Good. That's not racist. If I just, if I was at a baseball game and I looked and I was like, "Oh, that's my uncle Larry," people would believe it. Like, no, but see, it's racist because those same people look at me and my man Evan, which Mikey, do we look anything alike? No. Oh, well, that that is racist. He's pure blooded Korean. I'm half. I'm like six two. He's like five ten. We do not look anything alike. They, they yeah. don't look anything okay. alike. Everybody no, I, thinks we're brothers. That is racist. Dude, we, we go places and they're like, oh, it's the Yee brothers. I'm like, you realize his last name is Blurstat. <laughs> and they just look at me like I'm retarded. It's practically the same. Yeah, I'm like, oh, it's, you know, 
just because you got two yellow guys walking into a bar together. What what nationality is he? he he's also Korean. Oh, so you're both Korean. Okay. I mean, at least it's the same race, but. I mean, it's we're in Na- Howard County. Nationality, in yeah. Okay, <laughs> Koreans right, so, aren't a race, right? Sorry, did yeah, I miss right. something? Okay, uh, all right. I'm just making on, sure. Man. I'm not PC at all. I don't I'm know. just making sure <laughs> that I didn't miss something. You know, some if sort you of hadn't announcement. Noticed, there's like, nothing PC about yeah, anything. Yeah, you know, do here. Kim Jong Un. You know, decided that you know <laughs> we're our own race now. I don't. I don't know. Hey, yeah. you never... He might think North Koreans. So lonely. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I can't even tell you how many times I've been asked if I'm North Korean. People literally ask that. Like, they differentiate between? Well, there, well, I mean, there's North Korean and South Korean. Right. And then when you're in America, you're South Korean, pretty much every single one of them. Nobody, you got here, nobody like, really gets out of North Korea. Exactly. Right. That's, that's my always <laughs> If response. they're North Korean, you know it because they look, they look like they just came out of like they, a concentration camp. They look miserable. Camp. They look like they want to die. And See, they're the in shit. North Korea. Right. Like... You, you don't leave there. Yeah, pretty much if you see a North Korean, you're in North Korea. Yeah, exactly. And numerous North, people do not understand that concept. North Korea is one of those things. I keep seeing all these great documentaries being made about that. And every time I see them, I'm like, oh, man, I should watch that. And I never fucking do. Because why? Man, it's going to make me sad. It's just going to make you want to slit your wrists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's know funny. what was a fun documentary on North Korea was... Team America yeah, World yeah. Police? Oh, Team America World Police. Not that amazing. one. I was going to go with the uh, James Franco yeah, the interview. and <laughs> the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great documentary on North... That told me everything I needed to know. Did you actually watch that? I did, actually. Was, was it any good? It's a fiction. What's it? <laughs> um, I hear it's coming off of Netflix. Fun, not great. It it has moments. I mean, it has moments. It got caught up. I wanted to make sure I saw it because, um, man, I don't even remember why anymore. I took some kind of political stand, and now I don't fucking remember why. Oh, it got they, caught up in the 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 yeah, North they, Koreans were mad, and they said they hacked Sony because of it, right? Yeah, they were saying all kinds of bullshit. Um, and so Sony pulled it from theaters because they were afraid of the backlash. And I was like, ah, that's not how I want to do business. I was like, so when they put it out on demand, I was like, you could have my $6. Like, fuck this, like, take my money. Um, and it ended, and I was like, mm, well, I'd be mad I, if I just straight paid $6 yeah, for like, it for no reason. Like, can I have, like, three of that back? Three fifty. Like. Another brilliant marketing <laughs> ploy. Yeah, they probably made up all that yeah, shit. It was, it was all probably a marketing ploy. Uh, it could be, except the, uh, one of the, one of the executives got fucked by the whole thing. Like, I forget who it was. Like some of her emails got released and she was, she was in bad shape because she was the one who her emails came out. There was a movie. It was like a, it was supposed to be a romantic like action comedy that took place in Hawaii. Sounds terrible. Yeah. And like there's emails where she's like, yeah, we tested this and everybody thinks it fucking sucks. And you know, it's two months before the movie's released and yeah, she got, she got boned by it. And clearly that had an effect because we have no idea what you're talking about. So No, I don't think anybody saw it. It was, um, man, I can't remember who starred in it. It probably doesn't who matter. Cares? Probably, it's, it's probably got Tara Reid. Sounds like oh, I wish it had. Yeah, I wish I thought she Tara was Reed. dead. I don't know it was Brittany Murphy. She's she, pretty much dead. Tara Reid's still doing like Sharknado 47 or whatever it is. Yeah, they got, they got those crappy sci-fi channel movies. That, that was a s- star that rose and fell really quickly for me. Like, I, I still haven't seen any of them. Sharknado? No, yeah. I was talking about Tara Reid. Oh, yeah, No, yeah. Sharknado. I mean, Sharknado I really is care. fantastic. No, I just remember, like, Tara Reid was, like, the hottest thing in the world for, like, seven minutes. Yeah. And then it was just downhill almost immediately. Yeah, but she's a... It's, it's the same thing, like, you see a hot girl out at a bar or anything like she's that. trashy hot. She's yeah, true. and you're like, oh, that girl's hot. And then she talks. And you're like, holy, <laughs> sh- holy shit, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's true. I want nothing to do with you. Or at least, I mean, to each their own. I mean, if if you're okay pounding, you know, something with missing a few chromosomes or whatever, but. (laughs) Missing chromosomes. Jesus. That is a lot of people's favorite choice, though. (laughs) (laughs) Like over at uh, Stanley Cast. (laughs) Oh, they're they're just. (laughs) They they are big on. on banging chicks with missing chromosomes. You heard it here first. (laughs) <laughs> oh man yep. Speaking, so uh, the reason i keep mentioning them is because they they had the the ill-fated idea to try to antagonize me on facebook I, I, how did that start i like when i woke up this morning i had a bunch of alerts on my phone 
And like, I feel like I ended up in the middle of it. I, I don't even remember how it began. So it, it began because they can't handle their alcohol. <laughs> so I was here hanging out with the wife and the baby and they're at Nottingham's, even though Dixon and Chance both quote unquote hate Nottingham's. So But they're there drinking like on a two, Monday. Two to three nights a week, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh so I guess they had one too many fuzzy navels and we're just got a little Got a little ballsy. Handsy with each other? Oh, oh, you were talking about Facebook, I thought. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they probably got handsy with each other, too, but... Well, no, probably not. I mean, Dixon's too old for a chance, right? I mean... There is quite a a bit of... big age gap there. There is a big age gap. I mean... Nothing wrong with a little age gap. Yeah. I mean, to each own. Like, I mean, Dixon likes to rob the cradle with uh, Chance. I want to think... I want to think Adam has better taste than that. Yeah. Adam, step your wrong. game. Step your game up. Despite your hairline, you still have a lot to give to this world, <laughs> and you can do better than Stanley. I want to. I want to cut that out of the middle of the podcast. And just post it as its own little. That put it on a link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. Can we register? Can't get right podcast dot com and just put that gif of the girl getting hit in the face with the, the, all the hot dogs. <laughs> all the hot dogs. Cause <laughs> I think I would pay to, to do that. I think that sounds like a good bit to me. <laughs> uh, is that, if you if you have a site, but you don't actually like host anything on it, or if it just redirects, mm-hmm. is there like a, a price difference or anything like that? No, once you once you buy the domain, you can do whatever, whatever you want with it. I mean, you can redirect it, you can... Um, you can post that, a single gif of a girl getting hit in the face with hot dogs. I would can, absolutely do you that. You can do whatever you want, and and I'll change I'll change the gif so it has can't get right all over. I'll change it to fucking Chance's face. <laughs> you mean Adam? Adam's, Adam's face. Adam and Stanley. You mean you the mean two Daquan, whitest Daquan's dudes face? At, Daquan and Jaquan. Raekwon. Raekwon, whatever. Yeah, I don't remember what I don't remember. <laughs> it was some combination of those two. I don't remember which two it was. <laughs> All you remember is the Quan. Yeah, the yeah Quan. some something like that. Anyway, that's that's that needs to happen. I think we can get away with that. Yeah, I think I would it would have cost twenty bucks, something like that. Twenty bucks for the year of that of like holding on to that, that I'm website. Okay with that. So that they can't clearly have <laughs> Clearly the Dixon Bomb shirts are indication that I am willing to invest a little bit of money. <laughs> For a good joke. You see it back there? Uh, it's a little dark. We should have hung it off of your chair. That's hey, okay. don't no. talk about Dixon like that. You can set him, you can set him right next to me. How dare you? Room right here for the Dixon bomb. Oh, that's true. I should, I should just give every guest the Dixon bomb shirt. Oh, make them wear it. Like all the guests wear the Dixon bomb shirt. Like not the same one. Like we just, you would just give out a Dixon bomb shirt every week, and that's always what they wear. <laughs> yeah. Guest promo item, and it's forced to be worn on air. Yeah. It's a fantastic <laughs> idea. Yeah, this is a this is a thing you got to do. <laughs> I think I think I think we found a new thing. Tune in next week, see if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I missed out on the freebie. <laughs> Screwed again. Fez, you. <laughs> Fast for fast forward seven years. We're hosting a massive radio show. We get Tom Hanks to do a radio interview for the first time in three years. And we're like, Sorry, Tom, you got to wear this. Tom Hanks is wearing a Dixon bomb shirt. That'd be it's, amazing. Those are the rules. Yeah. Those are the rules. <laughs> Put it on, Tom. That's how we do things here. By the way, we're not traveling together. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that there is a story with Jay doing something really embarrassing that I would like to hear about. I don't have a good transition to it, but I want to hear the story. Oh, are we going to yeah. talk about kerfuffle? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, kerfuffle is... is uh, what is... If, if the, you want to, I'll... No, if, what is ahead, the kerfuffle? Ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Because you remember it better than I do. I that, that is that. very true. What... Or, or... I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Do you want to tell up until the point... That you, Ooh, that's that my a lights go fun. Out? That's a fun question. Yeah, let's hear your version of events followed by Mikey's version of events. So I'll yeah, you tell your story up until the point that you don't remember, and I will pick up wherever things get a little fuzzy and 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 this translate. Fill me in. 
Filling in the blanks a year and a half later. What is <laughs> yeah, the, right. what is the kerfuffle? All right, so sure. go All ahead right. go ahead and tell what a uh, it's kerfuffle it's a, is a, uh, a, a annual festival put on by DC one oh one at Merriweather Post. Okay. All right. And uh typically they find like two or three like actually legit name bands to, to headline it and then you get like a bunch of just bullshit for like six sure. hours of the day beforehand. Sure. Well, I, I wasn't really going to go, and I wound up talking to Big Bear, and he's all up at Union Jacks with um, the other Sean Thomas, not not uh, not bitch-ass, DreamWorks, you know, Crooked Smile. Okay, all right. DreamWorks. DreamWorks, J. Cole, Sean Thomas, that one. Okay. He uh, He's up there, and I think it was like a handful of other people. Mikey's there, um, and, and there was this girl there, uh, Sophia, too. <laughs> So they all been drinking, and, and I may have been partaking in other recreational activities prior to a- arrival. And um, mm. we walk over because I get ketamine. Kind of, yeah, we get yeah, it. Oh okay. yeah, massive amounts of ketamine. <laughs> you know, just blow everywhere. You know, that's that, that's the way it went. Black tar heroin. <clears throat> got got that that Pablo Escobar right. Yeah. <laughs> so we walk over, and I like luck into getting a ticket that's like one of the nice like pit tickets for like half the price. Okay. Buy it, go in. I'm all fucking stupid happy because I, I got the extra money burning a hole in my pocket. Walk over, get a couple captains from the bar or something. I want to say about an hour after we got there and maybe five drinks in, I realized that there is a 930 club bar there that has Grand Marnier. All right. Anybody who knows me knows that, that uh, my other alias is the Big Asian Baby, and that's what happens when I get real drunk from Grand Marnier. Okay. So I walk in there. You're I, welcome. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> that draw, that drawing. I still need the fucking tattoo. I think you I'm, have. I think you have more nicknames than anybody I've ever met in my life. Oh, it's there, there's still more. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> there's still more. So I find this Grand Marnier bar, and I, I come back over to the group holding Grand Marnier, and it's a little gray. Who I tried to did, did I try to make you drink? I know I tried to make somebody drink it with me. I I did meet up with you. So. I guess I guess I'll just take over. Yeah, from you, you here. can take over from here because this is where the gets, lights go out. It's a little gray. It, it I, I believe you when you say it went, and and you can drink. I know you can handle your shit. Dude, I put I'll put some fucking liquor away, but I mean, hmm. but you whatever like half a bottle of like shitty mango vodka over there that's just calling your name. I that's it. That's dude, a, that was like I thought you said you could drink. Beginning. That's that can't get right finest right there. That's yeah, Amsterdam, Amsterdam, yo. <laughs> But the uh, so I he came back over the group. This is one of the first times that I retract Jay, my previous statement. Yeah, this is one of the first <laughs> times that Jay and I had ever like hung out outside of like Ellicott City or whatever. And uh, also we, first time I met your wife. Yeah, this is great first time making tragic. good impressions. <laughs> so they uh, so we go over to the bar and you order two GMs for us. And Do you drink uh, GM? No. Okay, I was about. <laughs> I, I believe I wasn't taking no for an answer. I'm sure. Uh, just GM seems like one of those things that Mikey would not drink. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't care for it. It's too sweet. I used for me, to be but... a big fan when I was younger. I used to drink a lot of it. Um, I mean, I feel like it's like a bartender's like requisite drink. At some point is. in their life, they had to have drank a, a fair There's, amount of GM. I mean, in that's... Annapolis, we used to call it the the bartender shot. Like yeah. that's just what you did, and like. All the bartenders yep. go over to the other bartender's bar, and it's just like you'd get around a GM. That's, like that's how every why. every area is kind of like that. Uh, I know a lot of bars do Rumple, uh, a lot of bars do Jameson. Yeah, it was Jaeger at one point for a while there too. Ugh, yeah, I'd rather Jaeger. die. See, when I was like when I was this is probably oh, this is twenty one. This is probably oh three oh four. Like Rumple mints was still considered like shit. Like nobody Rumpel was that bottle Rumpel was that bottle that gathered dust in the corner mm-hmm. like uh what is it the Galilei Ga- Galliano. Galliano Galliano that Galliano. same thing it sits Six. in the corner it's just got dust on it like you wipe every it off every bar once buys a, while. a bottle of Galliano when they open <laughs> one time yeah. you make one shot with it in 13 years of business um, you're like hey I made a Harvey wall banger but Rumpel time to put like this that. away for five more years and at some point I started going to bars and it's like everybody's doing fucking shots of Rumpel it's, mints I'm like what are you guys fucking it's, high it's like what's happening? It's they yeah. realize it hits you hard. Yeah, it tastes like shit, but it's a good bang for the buck. Yeah, I mean, but whatever. All right, so, so you do two, a couple of, couple right. of GMs. So the 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 shot of GM that he pours, this bartender pours, is 
I mean, if if it was probably like that. So we're we're saying in a rocks glass, it's like halfway. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a solid. It's a solid five ounce, maybe even six. Yeah, I mean, you're you're looking at two, three, maybe even a little more. <laughs> okay. Uh, shots. We're going, we're going hard. All right. So we each do one of those. God, it sounds delicious right now. It's pretty amazing. Oh, man. So we we do those, and then he orders two more. And I think you tip the guy like 30 bucks or something. Oh, I know I threw money at him because I spent like $450 that day. Oh, I believe it. Because the, the, two, the two rounds that I was up there with you, you probably spent $100 for just the two of us. Go hard. And this guy was hooking up. He was making it worth it. Yeah. Because he was giving you shots of like, there was like three apiece. And so we each did two of those. And I think you grabbed someone else and went back again. And you had, so and and keep in mind <laughs> he he had already gone up at least once or twice before that, so if you add that up, what's oh, what's, I'm what's that in like? Neighborhood of fifteen shots of GMD, probably. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a, and it's I've been with like... Captain and Cokes beforehand. Yeah, within two hours, like a fucking boss. <laughs> and then uh, doesn't sound like it ended like yeah, a boss. So well, it's not okay. at all, not at all. We all so have our my, struggles. So my my wife and I had the like pavilion seats or whatever and she wanted to go down and we w- went down and watched uh offspring or whatever i, I started getting texts from uh big bear he said jay is fucked up <laughs> like can, can you come help <laughs> i was like oh yeah i'll, I'll come back up yeah, just when when this is done and he starts sending pictures jay has like passed out on the lawn of merriweather and then rolled over Grab yes. that girl Sophia's uh, chucks, her shoes, and just filled them to the brim. I didn't throw up in one. <laughs> I threw up in two. What the fuck? Not but one, but two. It was, that was the bartender in you because you masterfully brought that to the brim <laughs> and, and stopped, went to the other shoe, vomited, and filled up the rest. And it didn't look like there was any vomit spilled anywhere else. No. Just cleaning the shoes. It was like it, that was some wizard shit. You're a time traveling demon. Dude, you want to talk about time traveling demon? I woke the fuck up in in my at that time ex girlfriend's house, clueless as how the fuck I got there. I Completely wish clueless. The look on my face translated to audio. Let's back up three steps. Why were these shoes not filled with feet? Where did you <laughs> so, where where did you get she, these? She is, I believe, Swedish. I, I don't. So, re- I don't remember where she's from. She, but. she is of foreign descent, and we were all hanging out there. And girls get weird at concerts and take their shoes off. I, I, I okay. Don't. They were on the lawn, so yeah, I guess we I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I, I'm so shocked right now because you sent me a text earlier because we were talking about Jay's coming on the show, and you were like, "Oh, don't let me forget, I have a great story where Jay puked on a girl's shoes." And I was like, okay, well, that sounds like a pretty good, like, oh, I got really drunk, and then I bent over and puked on somebody's shoes. This went no, so this much differently than I pictured in my head. <laughs> yeah. This Great is stories. way better I, than I, that. Dude, I can fill episodes up yeah. for you guys with you have, stories. You have to realize how long I've been in the bar industry. What what it takes <laughs> to get to good story level. <laughs> like, Look, I, I trust you. I believe you. That's why I brought it up. I was just I didn't see the angle on it at the this moment. This story has followed me for now years. Now I get it because that's fucking amazing. Look, jo- Josh still doesn't want to go to concerts with me, and he fucking relented and went to Saturday in the country with me, and I fucking spewed guts there. <laughs> oh, but did you fill anybody's article of clothing? No, I did throw up on his boots, and, and apparently, like. 30 minutes to an hour beforehand, there's a Snapchat of me slugging Fireball, and I'm like, Josh is standing there, I'm just, look at them boots, look at them boots, and then Perfect. apparently I threw up on Perfect. <laughs> hey, man, I was on a mission. You know, it, it, if I'm planning on going hard, I'm going all the way. There's there's no stopping. Yeah, we got to get Big Bear on here. I was thinking the same thing. That's, that sounds like fun to me. Big Bear would be an entertaining show. Yeah. Oh, it sounds fun sounds, Maybe we'll get like uh, Big me. Bear and DreamWorks shown. I've never, I've never interacted with Big Bear in like a social setting before. I mean, yeah. he's, he's, uh, yeah, he's always bartending. Like he's always been. I've never just like hung out with him before. It'd be fun. Big Bear is fun in a social setting, especially if you can get him drunk. It's just a task to get him drunk. Because he Challenge won't drink. Accepted. 
No, it's because no, no, he no, won't no. drink. Uh, like, well, he, he maintains control, so he won't like drink heavily. Whereas, like, I'll look at I'll look at him on a night when I like walk into Diamondbacks or Ghost or anywhere else where we are, and I'll be like, "Yo, I'm getting fucked up tonight." Like, I pull that you know the white guy move. Like, I'm getting fucked up. Woo! Well, it's got to be a white guy move. I feel like Asian guys can do that move just fine. No, but that's something white people yell. Yeah, that's I'm true. Fucked up. Yeah, yeah. No, you're because right. they don't care what it is. Ooh, you're you're right. to get fucked up right now. <laughs> yeah. I can't be like, oh, extra special night to get the bitty trunku. <laughs> oh, that's true. Because the, uh, what are they, oh, what are they called? The Japanese, um, there's a Mother name for Dragon? them. The, uh, the salarymen, Japanese salarymen, like business guys who just like, who just, they go to work every day, all day. They're just like, look, man, I'm fucking Korean, bro. I have no idea about that life. Yeah, but I mean, you can, you can, like, <laughs> you, they, can like, you can Yakuza know about Japanese things. Jap- <laughs> Aren't you all the same? <laughs> yeah. That's what. That's what Trump would say. Look, dude, I'm part Chinese. You don't get to pull this shit on me, okay? I, I like the Donald. Do you really? A little bit. You gotta, you gotta put that mic closer to you. You can't. You keep, you keep drifting. You just, it, it's, <laughs> it's look, man. It's falling down, and I don't want to make the cursed noise. Oh. Uh, All right, hold on. Go for it. Uh, oh God, horrible there we noise. Go. Uh, you like well, the Donald a little bit? A Look, lot of man, it. if I had to, if I had to pick between a giant douche and a turd sandwich, I'm taking the giant douche, even though he wants to kick me the fuck out of the country. That's true. You would probably not be particularly welcome in Trump's America. That's true. I, I wouldn't be you, welcome. Actually, he's probably he's probably okay with Asian people. But I kind of look at him and I'm like, he's too stupid to lie. Whereas she's a conniving lying bitch. Oh, he's not too stupid to lie. He Dude, lies all the he lies all the, he lies all the fucking time. He lies constantly. Well, the, the problem is constantly. She, I mean, I'm not, I'm not arguing for Hillary Clinton here. I'm, I'm, I'm going that's, the that's giant the douche Johnson, sandwich uh, route. Like, well, that's the thing. She's an obvious liar. He puts on that front that he's that stupid. It's kind of, it's kind of like uh, W in a way. Like, although I think, I think W was a was a good person. I think he was genuine. I think he was a genuine guy. I think he fucking loved America, and I think everything he did. He fucking loved America. Like well, I would, I would and he love. Loved his daddy too. I would love to have twenty-two beers and bang some rails of coke with GW. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> he sounds like a great guy to hang out with. He loved America. G Dubs. I think he had a bunch of people around him who was like, mm, George, maybe you should just fucking tell him it's the Iraqis. And he's like, Yeah, you know what? I will tell him it's the Iraqis. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. Let's go get some oil. Um, <laughs> But no, both the both the choices we have now are fucking. Dude, it's such a fucking complete joke. liars. Lie, they lie all the time through their teeth for any reason all the time. Fucking, I mean, Donald Trump. It's in his book, right? He's like, just tell people what you want them to think three times, and they'll believe it. Like that's that's what you do. You that just keep it. saying it, and it's you say clearly it often accurate. Yeah, it, it totally is. By his support, yeah, he's absolutely oh, right. Man, it's one thing to like see. So you sort of support him almost in a comical way, where you're like. Uh, whatever. I mean, I'm laughing at the situation, and in my mind, he's the lesser of two evils. To be honest, of all, anybody out there that's available, I'd prefer Gary Johnson, even though he's a jackass. I'm yeah. worried he's dumb as fuck. He does seem kind of dumb. <laughs> he is a little bit dumb, and he definitely, like, his whole I support pot thing and looking like a super stoner doesn't work well for him. And, like, getting involved in, like, the vape debate. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, uh, there are bigger things debate. to worry about. Oh, well, I think the FDA, like, banned vape, and, like, he came out, he's like, neither of the other candidates will, like, put a stance out on vaping. I'm like, <laughs> who oh, gives a shit? Really getting on those crucial issues, Gary. Jesus Christ. Hey man, he's better than the other two assholes as, as far as I've seen. I at this point the yes. only reason I kind I kind of support him out of everybody, but only because he is the third party option with the most support, and that is the only thing that I'm voting for at this point yeah. is crush the system. Again, I just want I just want to have that blip in history where they're like, well, at least there was that showing of third party support. Even if I, I think he's an idiot and he's not qual- any more qualified than any of these other fucktards. I mean, the guy who should have been doing it now that's in that third party level fucked it all up a couple years back with Nader. Nader could have been a beautiful uh, candidate. Yeah, well, yeah, but he was a loony, too. You, I mean, you're forgetting how loony he was. That's no, no, really... no. He's a, he's a touch loony, but, I mean, look at the shit Ben Carson said and he had support. 
Yeah, that's the... that's true. Carson was nuts, man. Car- Car- <laughs> dude, I was. I heard Carson was running, and I was like, dude, this is a guy I might support right here. Brilliant fucking surgeon. He talked like three seconds, and I was like, nope. Yeah. yeah. Like, how I'm touching that, that with a ten foot pole? How is how is how how is he a surgeon? Like if at this point, yeah. like I I don't know. Like if I had dude, like brain so cancer, it, and they were like, we have one of the best surgeons in the country who's gonna come in and he's gonna fix your brain cancer. And Ben Carson walked in the room, I'd be like, well, guess I'm buying it. Like, because <laughs> it's it's insane. You think how how is this guy a brain surgeon when clearly his brain does not work? Maybe it's like a uh, um, dude, it's that idiot. It's, it's the savant that? thing. That's exactly what I was thinking. Thing, like, or, yeah. Uh, What's the that where you're like socially awkward but autism? Do you guys no. say autism? Like I was gonna be like Rain Man and shit. Like, no, 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 not like Asperger's. Uh, Asperger's. Oh, yeah, yeah, it could, I mean, be, it could that, be Asperger's. That level. Because look at it. He 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 talks like he's talking to a mirror, like trying to psych himself up for a speech he's gonna do later. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh shit, I'm in front of thousands and thousands of people. But I mean, dude, he, you always, if you look through history, though, all people who were incredibly you, you got smart this, ben. were all considered very awkward and weird. You know what I mean? Like the Einsteins and all that. And he really is a brilliant mind. So if you consider in his neuroscience and all that stuff that he does, like, he's really, really fucking smart, but he's really fucking weird. Everything and that's comes, kind of the way it goes. Everything comes with a price. Yeah, like, yeah. I love looking at those, like, those... uh like this one example, I can't remember the guy's name. Like he's the classic idiot savant. I'm sure you, we don't call them that anymore. But yeah, like yeah. he was known as an idiot savant. He's like, he's the guy who, if you tell him, what is it? If you tell him your last name and your zip code, he'll tell you your phone number. Like everywhere in the country. Like he can draw perfect maps after seeing a city from an airplane once, but he can't like function in everyday life, right? Like everything's a trade. Like you can have this incredible intellect and skill, but you can't actually it's, function. It's crazy to think like what what level are we gonna reach eventually as a, as a species? As long as we don't devolve, de evolve. I think we're See, done. You don't think we're already devolving? Come on, man. I with, think we're done with this election. No, but I'm saying so that that is one example of like when your brain is totally focused in one area on one thing, like that's, what's capable. Like if you, if there was a way that we could figure out, eventually you have, you have to figure out those pathways in the brain and be able to harness that to some degree. I mean, I'm, not not to get all science fiction, but I'm talking about like that whole like Scarlett Johansson movie. Oh, idea, Lucy, yeah, whatever. It was, How did I? I brought that up last podcast. I, percent of your brain I believe Lucy shit. may have come up like three times in the six episodes now. I'm going to say some stuff here that kind of sounds like you know Nazi eugenics kind of stuff, and that's not how I want to intend it. But like, if build we, a wall, <laughs> if 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 we wanted to like continue to evolve as a species and make our brains better and more powerful like the people who are smarter shut and... up i'm baiting <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly kind of the point i'm i'm making yeah. here right like the smart people have to be the ones who survive and breed and the problem is is that we and and this is i mean this is this is a good problem to have. We keep everybody alive, right? We keep everybody safe. We do everything we can we to make sure everybody passes their genes along, right? Um, so, you know, we don't make anybody pass a test when they come in for, for cancer treatment. We're like, oh, no, you're, you're kind of fucking dumb. We don't need you here. Like, sorry, you'll know, just go die at home. So, no, I think, I think we're done with evolution. Between that and augmenting ourselves with, like, robotics and computers and all that kind of stuff... I think we've reached the end of well, the line. I, I, I don't, though, because I think the artificial side will eventually catch up and, and, and bring us to another level. So it's so while we may not naturally be evolving anymore because of the things you mentioned, we may still reach that because we have reached a certain level scientifically and then we're using that knowledge to, you know, the same way we're like, advancing crops or stem cell research or anything like that as long as you don't have fucking window lickers out there fucking trying to block all the legislation that allows you to do these things pull some like johnny mnemonic stuff like plug extra ram in like yeah yeah i right. get that i mean I, I think okay. that all of that johnny is absolutely mnemonic. possible i was thinking robocop in my head yeah okay time. yeah i'll go robocop yeah yeah, yeah yeah no that's true i think we'll... freeze creep 
I think we'll. I think Red we'll. Foreman. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, that was Red Foreman. You know that, right? Oh yeah. That's fucking Red Foreman. Oh yeah, no, that's a good. That's a good. Well, no, Red Foreman wasn't. I'd buy that for a dollar. That was no, no, no. no. He was no, the bad villain. guy yeah, in RoboCop. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we'll download ourselves digital into computers before we like biologically improve. I think we'll the get to a, Matrix. I think we'll get to a point where we're like, okay, well, now we could just download our consciousness into a computer. We can exist for literally thousands of years. Every minute that I, goes by, we'll just live live in a digital paradise. I would say that, except that, I mean, you look how long it takes us to to uh, to accomplish things that you know, seem pretty simple, like with government or anything like that. So something as complicated as that, I mean, with no restrictions, something like that could probably happen within our lifetimes. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't take that long. But No, we're looking at like 100 of, generations, you know. Yeah. Or not at all. We might just all end in fucking... Horrible nuclear fire. That's that's the more likely scenario. That's the highly likely. <laughs> yeah, that's Hillary for prison, twenty sixteen. <laughs> it's either nuclear fire or fucking total recall. Yeah, uh, or fucking smoked. E- either yeah. way, I don't even care. I mean, I, I that's that's kind of one of the other reasons. Speaking of the election stuff, that kind of makes me want to go Trumpy because I'm like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, look, if there's somebody that could induce a possible change, that's like completely out of nowhere. We talked about this last time. Hit rock bottom, right? You know what I mean? Like, Like make it as bad as it could fucking be. It's that crapshoot role. But at the same time, I'm like, I could also see, like, 2018, here commences your first annual purge. (laughs) Or, like, 2020, I can't believe we let those damn dirty, stinking apes take over. Like, that is a realistic possibility. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, oh, man, there's no way he'd be a presidential candidate. Oh, no way. I can't believe he's a lead of the. Republican Party. I can't believe he's president. Hey, uh, so where are you going to watch the Hunger Games? I hope my district wins. Yeah. <laughs> like, you got that, or he's like, he's like, look, I want genetic engineering on everything so we can feed people. Next thing you know, the best genetic engineering, <laughs> Donald, in the world, Donald Trump's purge. Next thing at you midnight, know, all crime will be legal, except against whites. Have a good purge. <laughs> Kill the Mexicans at the end, you know, just yeah, like yeah, subconsciously yeah. underneath. Anyone it's, darker than this shade. It's, it's just a white wave. Is over murderable. The wall. <laughs> God. I mean, he, this he is really our reality. It could, be, it could be like the complete, utter end of America, but it could be just like that amazing revolution that is just utterly necessary to change the world. Eh, our time's coming to a close anyway. Yeah. It's, it's the Chinese time. Let's, let's just go out with grace. Just you know, no more extra special guests. We had a, we had a good run. Stop. <laughs> oh, really? Um. Any, any closing thoughts or anything? I don't know. It's our, our sand is gone. That's good news. I, I wanted I wanted to time the sand to see how accurate it was. I'm just purely curious. I mean, we can we can go. I mean, we can see it right there. Except we started. It, we it, started recording a while before we flipped the minutes, right. I think when you flipped it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's it's. Got to be really close. Um, I don't have anything. I mean, I've got other stuff, but we can talk about it next week. I think I want to talk about like um, Halloween at the bar scene next week. I think that'd be kind of kind of fun to talk about. Hockey season opened uh, last week. I think I want to go over that. You know, nothing nothing crazy. Cool. We we talked about him filling shoes with puke. It's a good time. Did some racist uh, Asian accents. That's the most important thing. Got, got our basis. weekly mention of. Raekwon and Jaquan's and bomb happy time get right hour. <laughs> I think I'm good. Oh, so, <laughs> can we can we register that one too? Yeah. Raekwon and Jaquan's and bomb happy time hour dot podcast dot com. <laughs> I I would I would listen to that podcast. <laughs> that name that, change. Hey, maybe hey. when they maybe when they go to iTunes. <laughs> I say, I say we name this episode that. Raekwon. Raekwon and Jaquan's end bomb happy time hour. Yep. I'm okay. I'm down. Done. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks to Tristan for uh, hosting it with me as usual. And thanks, thanks to Asian Jay for joining us. And, thanks, Jay. Always welcome to come back for anytime. Me, guys. Asian invasion all day. <laughs> Hashtag Asian invasion. Hashtag Asian invasion. We'll definitely Hashtag get you back here puke. again. <laughs> Hashtag shoe puke. Perfect. <laughs>
Oh, we should start a Twitter feed. That's half the fun of having a show on a Twitter feed, right? Is you just make up all these hashtags you want. Hashtag I, shoe puke. Hashtag Asian invasion. I'm pretty good at hashtags. I, was I, a I believe you. Hashtagging myself. So, all right. Well, thanks again for joining us. We appreciate all of you, except for uh, Raekwon and Jaquan, Daquan, Aquan, whatever it Mayquan? is. Daquan, Daquan, yeah. something like that. But anyway, we'll see you next time for last call. Check us out on iTunes or YouTube or SoundCloud if you feel like doing that or whatever. Last, lastcallpodcast.com. Yeah, we're, we're everywhere, so you can find us. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. See you.